Hey guys, got a large parcel for you. Two specimens, well, three actually, because there's a two for one in uh, one of the boxes here. This is from Everything Dinosaur, and I've actually been really excited about uh, getting this one. Also, I want to test out my uh, new Raptor Claw. So, let's get ripped into it, shall we? Fresh, brand new Raptor Claw. Snow in here as usual. Yeah, get that. <laughs> oh man, look at that. Here we have another high uh, class package, and you know they're not messing around piano so when they uh, they don't have the uh, orange label on. Every high class package. It's just like that. It's like a shoebox designer. Let's make uh, an incision here. Oh, I think I still has a uh, sticker attached to this. I'm going to keep that. Look at that. Amazing. Absolutely. Wow. I mean, I've only been doing this for like eight months, right? And Pina, so they're just like on a killer marathon here. Wow. Can this just get like, you know, any better? Wow. So uh, this is um, Biber, and I do have a Biber model. That was the one. It was actually my first uh, model that I uh, reviewed back on the fourth of uh, January. Here he is. But mind you, that was a vlog. Now I really like this model. Don't don't get me wrong, but my review was poor because there was no way I could know that my channel was going to grow this way. All right, enough of me rambling. So let's. Um, Oh, look at that! You've got um, Rooker here. The infant. That is absolutely adorable. Let's go for the updated uh, Biber here. Here I present to you. Stegosaurus, the roof lizard, and its iconic row of plates and the tail spines, the thagomizer. Stegosaurus lived in North America around 155 million years ago in the well-known Morrison Formation, along with the likes of Allosaurus, Ceratosaurus, and uh, the likes of Diplodocus. All these other well-known species from the Jurassic we've uh, grown to love. And I must stress right, Stegosaurus right is unquestionably one of the most iconic dinosaurs, if not one of the most recognisable animals ever to have existed. It's them plates, it's them tail it's them tail spines, like you 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 cannot mistake it. Like for anything, there's just something about it, like you cannot compare it to like, you know, a modern day animal, like Yeah, you get people who say like, oh, Brachiosaurus, it looks like a giraffe, or a Triceratops looks like a, uh, like a rhino, you know, things like that No, 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 not, nothing compares to a Stegosaurus in its uh, morphology Stegosaurus had a, a low, narrow skull, and the Stegosaurus had the 
smallest brain cavity of any known uh, dinosaurs. And for a while there was this theory going around that they had a second brain located in the hip region, which I uh, do find hilarious. All right, let's check a look at this model here. Now I've started with the head, small black eyes, far more detailed than the previous uh, Biber model. The discovery of a uh, throat armor pouch. Yeah, this is well uh, incorporated here. Like I can see it perfectly. Now, this model is not as colorful as the previous, but it's more drab, but I do see an element of uh, realism here. The right side of the model does appear brighter than the other side here, but um, even though it's uh, duller, this coloration is entirely plausible. In fact, um, the plate and that does give a resemblance to the walking with dinosaurs Stegosaurus. Now I want to talk about the plates. Plates on this model a bit more compacted from the pose of the neck. Now we do know Stegosaurus uh, had a neck longer than originally shown. These plates are very impressive and the coloration scheme highly plausible. Now there's been discussions over the century like about what these plates were used for. First was like they were used for defense or thermal regulation and like in the past two decades they were seeing that blood vessels went through these plates so they could have like you know blushed all these days uh, them theories have been uh, disputed just like the same way historically the way the plates were arranged like because Originally, these plates were suggested to have been arranged in a very freakishly different manner. Now I'm going to tell you of the point here. These plates provided no armour whatsoever, even though the Stegosaurus was a Theriophoron, classed as the armoured dinosaurs that belongs to the same group as the Nodosaurs and the Ankylosaurs that would uh, succeed them. This flank is completely exposed and these plates were thin. These provided no protection, well not from anything coming from above them. And the idea of uh, blood vessels going through the uh, plates would make them incredibly vulnerable. Now let your imagination run wild here. Look at these plates. If you were like an allosaur with your eyes on the side of your head, I'd say you'd only be looking at these plates. They're incredibly distracting. In fact, right, they, dis they would distract me from the flank, which is like the easiest target. I'd be focused more on these plates, especially if they were like brightly colored. And in Serengeti-like environment that the Stegosaurus lived in, I mean, it's been suggested that they were more like elephant ears to thermoregulate. I don't know. If anyone has any suggestions, please uh, do tell me. But, however, fossils have been found of Stegosaurus plates being bitten off by Allosaurus. And they've got corresponding bite marks. Now, if there was actually blood vessels running through these things, like if an allosaurus was to bite them, then the animal would surely bleed out. I think these plates acted as a sort of distraction method. But, again, in nature, nothing really is made for one singular purpose. Like, I think these plates serve all kinds of functions. Like, in terms of, like, you know, mating, I can go with that, especially like maybe periodically during the mating season, they uh, hormonally flush these elaborate colours. Like, look at this, multiple colours here. I can I can see that happening, but during the mating season.
Okay, now I want to go into the second most iconic feature of the Stegosaurus. It's the uh, tail spikes, the Phagomyzer. Now, most dinosaurs had fairly stiff tails, which is uh, in the range of the theropods, they were quite stiff because you know, like, it was built for like, you know, running, but Stegosaurus actually had one of the most flexible tails of any known uh, dinosaurs. And the Phagmizers have been suggested for being like a defensive mechanism. Plates, providing no real bodily defense. However, that tail was quite flexible. And to those who like to uh, go on about it being used for defense, yes, fossils of uh, an Allosaurus have been found with Stegosaurus tail spikes having protruded through the bone of an Allosaurus and healed. I rest my case, Your Honor. This tail had defensive purposes. It's like um, the Morning Star mace of like European knights, except much worse. Wow, I love Stegosaurus. Features in three of my uh, currently written works. Now let's include this um, infant. Rooker. That's nice. I'm guessing Rooker here would be about maybe just short of a year old and that. Now Rooker here, hold on, let's zoom in. Forgive me for the quality, my uh, phone camera's not good. He's shown in a bipedal stance. Now at that age, uh, with less uh, weight imposed on the body, that's entirely plausible. Dinosaurs had very bizarre growth, growth uh, cycles. And, um, yep, these plates, uh, they, look, they look soft. It's kind of like a baby crocodile. And there's this uh, theory going around that Stegosaurus may have been able to rear up on the back legs. Back legs, I mean, sorry. Uh, I don't dispute that at all because they were on uh, this gins and most of these uh, Theriophorans started off as uh, bipeds to begin with. No, this is a this is a very good set actually. <laughs> All right, we have the previous uh, biber here. Overall, they they both look uh, really nice. Yeah, I'm glad to have got by, but mind you, I'm giving away to one of my uh, subscribers. No, this uh, new Biber is uh, far superior in the detail, especially with the uh, throw armor. Although I think uh, this Biber, I, I prefer the um, exterior patterning of the plates here. Because that's how I imagine them. I imagine like Stegosaurus having like kind of like, like a wood ring sort of uh, patterning. All right, let's compare new Biber here to Paul. Scalation actually is uh, pretty nice. I think uh, Paul here is a pretty uh, large specimen. Watch out, Paul, you don't get uh, struck. Especially if there's a baby around. But no, um, this is actually a very impressive uh, model. Now, I could not anticipate that PNSO would release, say, an updated version with such high quality as this. I mean, the infant there is like a bonus. The Stegosaurus is one of the big five dinosaurs. It's one of them you just can't forget. So I'm going to have to give the kudos to uh, PNSO for this model. How would you react if you saw a Stegosaurus? How would you respond to the majesty of that outline? Please let me know in the comments, like, I do write about this sort of stuff, and, uh, trust me, a stegosaurus, it just makes your day. Okay guys, now, done with that review, let's go down to the regular and ask 
for a few additional opinions. I think the baby one's really cute. Cool. Very colourful. Mm. Looks like... <laughs> I like it. It's very cool. That's good to hear. Yeah. And it's, there's uh, an infant with it as well. Oh, like it. Is that like relative size or is that... Uh... Uh, scalation, I'd say it's pretty uh, accurate. Stegosaurus, like they found like so many like uh, complete fossils. It's a very nice dinosaur. Um, it's lovely colours. I don't know what those are. Oh, that's a lovely looking creature. What do you think, Kay? Oh, I think it's red. I like the spikiness on the top. And I know it, it looks lethal, but it isn't, is it? It can be. Oh, can it? There's been fossilised uh, evidence that these uh, phagomyces actually perforated the uh, oh, wow. bone structure of uh, actual predators. Pretty crazy, that is. Oh, I mental. Like it swings its tail around. These, the predators. these were the most. These normally dinosaurs have stiff tails, but these were the more flexible ones. Yeah. I like the baby as well. Yeah. What's the name of the baby Stegosaurus there? Uh, the company gives uh, the adult name of Viber, they give the uh, infant a uh, Rooker. Okay. <laughs> so I've got another specimen to review tomorrow. Mm. Nice. <laughs> you, a you know what, right, um, they pro <laughs> it's been suggested that paleontologists like, no, they believe that the Phagomyzer, as it's called, was actually a decoy. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. But, oh, well. This is not armour at all, like the flank is just way too exposed. But I believe the plates were like a form of a distraction. But that yeah. tail, right, is actually flexible when you compare it to other dinosaurs. Yeah. And they've been known to actually do damage. Some of these plates have actually been bitten off. So, that's no defence. Yeah. Well, I'd have fell for the decoy. There you go. Dead. Yeah. Thanks again for watching, guys. I uh, hope that was uh, okay for you. Ah. Uh, Good to have a, an updated model. I mean, it never occurred to me that this channel would, like, you know, grow the way it is uh, right now. But this is this is a bonus. I mean, it, it's absolutely just amazing. PNSO, continue doing what you are, and also everything dinosaur. Thank you very much. Pleasure doing business with you. Uh, always uh, keep them products coming. Right, I'm a busy man. I've got a book to write and a T-Rex that needs tended to. All you lot, stay safe.